Why would you limit yourself to eating only tomato sauce pizza? Embrace the sauce. Today I'm going to show you five alternative sauce options to spice up your pizza life. Let's get going. First up, Chipotle Honey Barbecue. I mean, who doesn't love a delicious barbecue pizza? It's a no-brainer. That said, making your own barbecue sauce is going to take your barbecue pizza to the next level. In a small saucepan, add half a cup tomato paste, half a cup ketchup, quarter cup apple cider vinegar, quarter cup brown sugar, one chipotle pepper, one teaspoon adobo sauce, two tablespoons honey, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, and half a teaspoon black pepper. Again, all recipes are below in the description if you got a little lost there. Whisk everything together and bring it up to a simmer. For best flavor, chill it overnight in the fridge. Here's a quick pork pizza build for this sauce. Start with a little barbecue sauce on your base. I'd suggest putting it on lightly and sporadically. Don't cover the dough with it, it'll naturally spread out as the pizza cooks. Then we're adding cheddar cheese, pulled pork, mozzarella, a little bit more barbecue, pickled red onion, and some scallions. And there it is. Okay, sauce number two, coconut curry. In a saute pan over medium heat, add two tablespoons olive oil, four garlic cloves, two teaspoon fresh ginger, half an onion, finely chopped. Let that saute for a little bit, then add one tablespoon garam masala, two tablespoons curry powder, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon paprika, sweet or hot, and half a teaspoon turmeric. I'll saute that up for a bit until the spices get a chance to bloom. Then I'll add a 16 ounce can of coconut milk and a quarter cup of tomato paste. Stir everything together and bring it to a simmer. Salt to taste and that's it. Let it come to room temperature before topping a pizza with it. Here's how I'd use it if I was making a pizza. I'd completely cover my base with the coconut curry, then I'd add a protein like chicken or pulled pork or chickpeas. Then I'll add my mozzarella. For this pizza, I'm also gonna add roasted sweet potato and scallions. I'll cook it up and when it comes out, I'm gonna hit it with some lime, sour cream, and fresh cilantro. Okay, sauce number three, Korean barbecue. This sauce is great for Asian-inspired pizza ideas. In a small saucepan, add one cup soy sauce, three-fourths cup dark brown sugar, one tablespoon sriracha, one tablespoon rice wine vinegar, one and a half teaspoons ground black pepper, one teaspoon grated fresh ginger, one teaspoon Asian toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons minced garlic. Whisk everything together and bring it to a boil. Then in a small bowl, add one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. Whisk it all up and add that directly to your boiling sauce. Continue to simmer for a few minutes while it thickens up. I recently made a duck breast pizza with this sauce that I really liked. Again, I would add it sparingly to the base of your pizza. Then I'm gonna add some Asiago, some spicy kimchi, and shredded mozzarella. I'm gonna bake that up in the rock box. And then when it comes out, I'm throwing down some pan-seared duck breast and some fresh scallions. The next sauce is pesto. I know this isn't a groundbreaking pizza idea, but if you've never made your own pesto, you're missing out. I start my pesto by putting the food processor in the freezer for 20 minutes to get it ice cold. Then in that cold food processor, add half a cup of olive oil, three tablespoon pine nuts, two garlic cloves. Blend that all up until you get a paste. Then we're gonna add half a cup of Parmigiano and a quarter cup of Pecorino cheese. Again, blend it all up until smooth. And then we'll add three cups of sweet basil. Blend it just until the basil is incorporated, not a minute longer. And then strain the pesto through a sieve. I love using pesto as a base for chicken and veggie pizzas, like this chicken and squash pizza. I'll add pesto to the base and dollops. Then I'll add some mozzarella, followed by shredded chicken. Then a bunch of fresh squash and zucchini that I've tossed in olive oil and salt, followed by a little more mozzarella. Once that's baked, I'll top it with a little fresh pesto and some feta cheese. The final sauce is garlic cream sauce. This is similar to an Alfredo, just not quite as heavy or intense. In a saute pan, toss in half a stick of salted butter, get that all oobly boobly, then toss in three cloves of chopped garlic and one tablespoon of flour. Brown the flour for a minute or so and then slowly whisk in 16 ounces of heavy cream. Once that's all incorporated, turn off your heat and slowly whisk in a cup of shredded Asiago or Parmesan. Salt and pepper to taste, and that's it, garlic cream sauce. 
I recently used this sauce in my pickle pizza recipe, so go ahead and check that out next if you want to see how I use the garlic cream sauce in action. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, kisses.